Generic greetings! Another brick in the mall is a game quite unsurprisingly about a mall, or specifically building and managing one. Obviously the term mall and shopping centre, which is what we call here in the UK, or shopping district, precinct, arcade, are all interchangeable. You can even just call it generic commodities outlet if you do so desire. The idea is that you will make buildings, so something like this, so you will place the foundations and then you'll build internal walls and doors and then designate different rooms and then furnish said rooms and then hopefully people will turn up and uh, capitalism be because, you know, plus one materialism points every time someone scans something and uh, you gain money, which is obviously the uh, overall goal. And uh, all that's happened now is it's gone at five o'clock and everybody's leaving. And there you go. And good grief, it's really, really fast, some of these cars. There's no soft start on these cars. It's just like, and go, and they're just straight off. Anyway, I'm going to show you a little bit of the game. I've played about an hour and a half to an hour and three quarters, so certainly a first impressions here, not a review. And also, the game is still in development, so you have to bear that in mind. Obviously, there's going to be some uh, changes to come, there'll be bugs, there's some placeholder stuff, things like that. So, the typical disclaimers apply, really. So, I'll show you a bit of it, and you can decide with something for yourself. We've got an alert down here, which is missed sales opportunities, which is queues full, which is something I don't like. What we'll probably do is build another queue. So, let's crack on with that. So, as you can see, we've got some workers here, and what happens is when the workers are not actually working they will go in here and just sit on their phone for some reason they won't talk to anyone around them they won't read a newspaper they're just very 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 anti-social I'm sure I could make some crass comment about the youth of today, blah, blah, blah. But to be fair, who am I to talk since most people are watching me and listening to me via these devices? So anyway, let's go to build and then we'll change this to objects. And then you get a list of all the objects that you can be bought in the game. And we'll change it to a checkout counter. And we'll put a checkout counter just down the bottom there. And then people will um, hopefully be able to... Will they be able to queue with that? No, because the queue underneath it. So I don't think they will be able to queue with that one. I don't think that one will actually work. We need to actually move them up a little bit. Um, can we do that? That is the question. Can we do that? We've got to build and... Can you remove is the question. Can you remove? Uh, remove foundations, objects. I don't know if you can remove objects. There might be a way to remove objects. I just don't know what it is. Oh, remove walls and objects. There we go. Remove that, remove that, and remove that. And then we'll place them again because they're in a bit of a weird state. So anyway, you can see the worker comes along and then uh, we'll remove them and stuff. It very unlike, uh, you know, it is sort of the same thing to uh, Prison Architect, RimWorld. These are the sort of top-down building games. Very, very similar concept. You know, we've seen it many, many times before. So we'll go to build again. Now, this is a problem because, as you can see, this is no longer a legit area because it's... Uh, this is called the Big Ish Mart, by the way. Uh, we don't have anywhere to sell stuff. So we'll go to object and then over to checkout counter and you can see the checkout line is where they're going to uh, queue up so we want it there rather than there because it actually changes the you know you can see the line is a lot bigger there so we want it like that excellent and hopefully the actual cashier can go in there excellent so that should be all sorted now right so we've built all of these, that is good. Uh, what tends to happen is in the daytime, the customers will come along, the shop opens and then the customers will come along, park up here and then go in. Obviously we've got different parking spaces, we've got these standard customer parking spaces here. We've also got a loading area, which we'll come to in a moment, and a staff area, which is you know, quite understandable, it's where the staff park. So what happens is you will get a, a couple of delivery trucks and then the items will be taken from the delivery trucks into a storage area, which is right next to the main shopping area. And then those will be brought out and then put on these shelves. The type of items you will get will depend on the shelves that you have, all the shelving and the cabinetry, and also what you set it to. So for example, this is a fridge and currently it's displaying milk. So you can also change that to say beer or ice cream, things like that, which we don't actually have. So we should probably sort that out in a moment. And the numbers uh, denote just how many you are selling throughout your entire mall. Right, the idea is everything under one roof. So you've got, like, say, shopping. Uh, you've got, like, things like bowling alleys and um, huge outlets for all different types of electrical goods, things like that. Uh, you've got cinemas. Yeah, it would be nice to have an arcade, but it's a bit 80s, 90s, isn't it? Maybe that's going to come later on. Uh, but either way, that, that, that number denotes what you've got throughout your entire map, essentially. And then people will come in, they'll buy it, and then you'll make money. Hooray! But obviously, you can't put things like fresh milk on a standard shelving. You can only put things like, well, we've got beverages here, liquor, beer, wine, that sort of stuff. So you get the idea. We've got, like, fresh fruit and veg down here as well. We've got bread. We've got canned food up here. We've got your toiletries, toilet paper, light bulbs and electricity, toys... Light bulbs and electricity. I'm assuming they're selling electricity in the form of a battery, not just like a cubed or powdered electricity. I don't know how that would actually work. A couple of statistics up the top here. So peak customers on site, parking usage, sales, profit is currently in the negative, but that's because I've been building a lot. 
also debt which is none overall cash and the objectives which you can see are there as well we've also got a research uh tree as well so we've currently researched the basics cold chain alcohol license and frozen food supply or oh, as well as restrooms as well so we're researching night hours at the moment i don't really care for that more but we'll, we'll keep going on that one so we do need to uh build over here so as you can see i've got the foundations the foundations are quite easy you just got to build and then foundations i don't like when you click build and then you have this drop down i would prefer to have like a a big list and then you click on it again it's like so it's I mean, even if it was just you click build and then it's all a big pile and then you click on it and then moves over i don't know just personal preference there's no real issue with this apart from you have to then scroll down to go to objects and then scroll down further but you know it is what it is so we've uh, done foundations foundations you just sort of click and drag and build something like that you can see that's illegitimate that is illegitimate that is illegitimate and it costs more the more you build you don't have to build the walls separately you just build the foundations and it puts the outer walls on and then you can click walls and build into inner walls if you really want to We've also got uh, restrooms, which I think it would be an idea to probably get. Now, I think we'll have the restrooms... I don't know how big restrooms need to be. Oh, are people turning up now? Ah, yes, okay. Let's, let's, I'll tell you what, I'll explain exactly how this is working, and then we'll get onto the building. So, what happens is people come along... They will park up their car and they bring they bring their their shopping basket with them. It would be nice to have like a shopping basket dispenser or like a a, 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 a trolley and basket like sort of bay on the outside and you can get a trolley as well if you're going to shop for a lot or just pick up a basket when you're on your way in and stuff and you go around well they go around so we'll follow this person here so this is uh sandy paul age 52 a customer looking for candies so you can see they've got loads of statistics so speed patience social ability as well as some skills and status obviously the status you really want to keep them uh fed and watered if you can off if they've got like hunger then obviously if you're, if you're selling food uh, they, or you've got an eatery, they'll go there. Same as things for bladder. They'll obviously want to use the toilet facilities. Uh, anyway, so this person is looking for candies. So we'll just follow them along. You can actually say follow and it will follow them. And looking around. And then once they find the item, you see there, they'll jump up and down. Their eyes will flash with hearts. And then they'll go and stand in the queue. And uh, yeah, antisocial. Everybody just jumps on the phone and stuff. <laughs> you know, whatever. I mean, to be fair, this is definitely... This is definitely... It's, I don't. This is not the UK, right? If this was the United Kingdom... Um, you would get people on the phone. That, that you know, that's just commonplace nowadays. But um, what would happen if uh, this was UK? People would bound up and down, going, "Yes, queuing. We love to queue. We love a good queue here in England and in the United Kingdom. You just can't get enough of queuing." I mean, everybody hates it, but, you know, we, we, we do it diligently because that's just who we are. Whereas if you don't manage these queues, in, in this, if you don't manage these queues, so if you've only got one cashier and there's, say, 10 customers, they will eventually get pissed off. They will turn red and start jumping up and down. And then go off. You know, I like. I do like the aesthetic of this. Like the heads with like tiny little legs. I think it's a. Uh, it's it's quite nice. Obviously, very very stylized. But very quite quite nice. A lot of detail in the in the heads and in these items here. So you can see that that's like a. Uh, like, was it? I say I can see what it is. That's cookware, apparently. Okay, some of it's a bit difficult to see, but that's obviously eggs. They're obviously meat products. That's fish product. That's frozen pizza. My personal vice, I must confess. Uh, you've got some vegetables, and you've got some. Um, this will be. What? Fresh fruits? Yeah, fruits and veg here. And you can see it goes down as well. Because each cabinet, or table in this case, has a fullness and some expiry as well. You've also got, like, your margins for profit. You can set it to manual margin and stuff, but I just say auto margin. It's just easier to do with that way. So, look, there we go. That guy's getting pissed off. He's red and he's about to blow up like atomic bomber, man. But, no, we do serve him and he goes away. That's fine. We should probably hire some more cashiers here. So, let's go to manage and we will click on the big ish mart, which is this in the center. And you can see overall margin, profit margin, 70%. Good. We'll go to staff and we'll hire a cashier. So, we've got three people interviewed. So, we've got Judy Jennings, 49, Leo Briggs, 43, and Rick, uh, Rich Morris, 22. So, they have a set of they all have like speed and patience and things like that but they also have like how good they are at these uh, things like cashier which is what we want so i really want you for a cashier it says unlock and buy road accesses to have more job applic applicants so i guess i'm pretty much gonna have to go to him because he's the best cashier now i don't know genuinely whether people like level up whether their skills get better or anything like that i just don't know perhaps they do perhaps they don't and maybe if they don't maybe they'll go up further looks like missed sales opportunities because of restaurants one customer is leaving because they're not hungry and have no restaurants yet we know we'll have to sort that out you can also get missed opportunities when the uh when the people leave the queue if they've been waiting too long or if there's not enough parking spaces a lot of your time will be you know dealing with parking and placing more parking spots anyway we've also got janitors as well so if we go to manage and we click on the uh the where is it maintenance center in this 
bit here. We can hire janitors or builders. We'll hire a janitor, and we can see that actually nobody's do. Oh, it looks like uh, Julian uh, is pretty good at janitorial work. There we go. So we hire them, and then they'll clean stuff up, and then the bags will go to recycling, and that will get collected. Okay, so building over here. Let's go to uh, a sign. And we'll say storage, and we'll sign this storage here. So there you go, that's now storage number five. We've also got a restroom, which requires access, a toilet cubicle, and toilet sink. So let's go to build, and we'll go over to objects, and we'll scroll down, and we'll find ourselves a toilet cubicle, there we go, and a toilet sink, which, uh, can you rotate them? Um, no, you can't rotate them. Some of these things you can rotate, so for example, oh, the fridge you can't rotate. The shelf you can't rotate, and the food, oh there, food, the uh, the order counter you can rotate, but most of the items you can't rotate. Don't know whether that's going to change later on, but we now know that essentially it has to be on the back wall, right? I mean, it doesn't have, no, no, the, the sink definitely has to be, but the toilet cubicle doesn't have to be. So we want probably this entire top, not the entire top section, but up here to be a... Can we put the toilet sink on that side? No, so the toilet sink has to go on the top. That's annoying. Okay, so what we're going to do is go to build walls. And we'll build a wall that goes along like so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There we go. So there's some plans. And actually, it's, it's not plans, it's orders. And then we'll go to objects. And then we want to go to a door. And put a door in there because... You know, it would be a bit silly not to do that. And then we'll probably put a couple of toilet cubicles. One, two, three, four, five, and then three sinks. Like so. Right. I don't know what the ratio is. Obviously, we've got no urinals. This is just unisex. Um, I don't know if the... I don't know what the... Or no bead is, certainly, either. But we've... I don't know what the ratio of toilets to sinks should be. Should it be a one-to-one -one ratio between toilets and sinks? Or should it be like a two to one or, or whatever I, I really don't know i'm not a expert on toilets i mean i've used them a couple of times in my life but i don't really know about the planning side of it right so we're going to go to a sign and we will change this to a store okay so we need to change that bit to a store that to a stop oh really it uh designates them as different stores does it um that's interesting Huh. Um. Ah, right, okay. If it overlaps an existing zone, so if I do that, yeah, it extends it. Okay, I was going to say, there must be a way to extend it. I'm thinking of more prison architect stuff, so when you assign a room, it uh, if it's next to it, it will assign the same thing. So, okay. And uh, restroom, obviously, you know, up here as well. There we go. So, this is called store six. We're going to pause it a second, because we need to go to manage, and we'll say store six. So, the other one was called the biggish... The biggish store. So this is going to be store. Um, what are we going to sell here? Booze store. Because that's what it's going to sell. This is restroom 7. I don't know why 7. We're just going to call it the loo. And storage. Uh, it's the alk storage. It's gonna be for alcohol. It's not. It's not actually all gonna be for alcohol here, but we'll we'll call it the booze store. No, we're not gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna change it to booze and. No, oh, we can't have an ampersand. Uh, and booze, booze, mm, stuff store. No, Mart. Okay, there we go. Booze and stuff, Mart. Right. And we'll change alcohol storage to just uh, G storage. Because why not? Okay, so we've got storage. We've got all that sort of thing. And now we need to deal with assign storage. So we'll say that is now the storage for the booze and stuff mart. So you can actually assign, say, storage over there. You can have a big storage area. Then, you know, it doesn't have to be next to it. It's just it's better. You have your opening hours and such. I think it would be best to have opening hours quite late for a booze one. So we'll say we'll close at 10. We'll open at 8, and we'll finish at 10. In terms of staff, we need to cashier and stock clerk. We'll get onto that later, because we need to actually build something inside. So, we need for a start our checkout counter. And... One, two... We could only have two in that corner. 
where's the best place to put it? To be honest with you, there's no real great place to put it in this door because of the layout of it, which is a shame. I don't really want to put it down this corner either. Hmm. It would be nice if it didn't put the <laughs> the big box above where I want to see. Thank you for the tooltip box in, in the way. Thank you. Probably there. 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 That'll do us. It's it's on the other side, which is weird, because normally it would be near the, near the uh, exit of the store. But um, I'll be honest, I just sort of messed the planning up a bit. Although... There, no, there's another solution. Cancel that. Go over to remove walls and objects. We'll remove these doors. Okay, we'll unpause it. We'll actually go to max speed here. And they've been removed. Then we'll go to objects. Over to a door. We'll put a door in that corner there. And then a double door we'll place in... Hmm. There. I think. Yes. Okay. Obviously, we do need to go to walls and pull some more walls in because there's some holes in this, which is something we don't want. We've done some research, so we'll check research. We've just uh, researched night hours. That was opening between uh, 12 and 6 a.m. We got frozen supplier, alcohol license, you got the lot here. So we've got for chemical supplies, what we're doing at the moment, uh, clothing supplier, electronics. What would we sell in here? Uh, we've got tools, luxuries. What sort of luxuries? Uh, following products, jewelry. What would go well with alcohol? Ah, oh, we're just probably frozen pizza. Just go for the full-on experience. Right. And what else do we need to do? Well, we need to go to build. And I will speed up to max speed so they finish this off. And we'll go to object and then a checkout. Spin it around. And they're just going to take some time to go around and build this. The, the, the lack of sound is really annoying. It would be nice if they had some drill sounds and stuff. Obviously, we've only got car sounds and, like, doors and checkouts. We, you know, there needs to be sound being sounds. Sooner rather than later, I would say. And there we go. There's three checkouts. It's not too bad. Three checkouts is still not a lot, but it's okay, I guess. It's okay. Or is it Okay. Um, I could have another one there and then have to move the door a bit further down. I'd have to move the storage down, but I think it's worth it. So we're going to do that again. So build, build, but it's not under build, it's actually remove. So we're going to remove this and remove this and remove that. There we go. Max speed, build, walls. We want another wall across like that and like that and like that and objects. We want a staff door, double door. Um, looks like I can't build it there because of the hole in the wall, so I'll put the wall in first. There we go. Objects, double door. There we are. Much better. And then I can go to a sign. Store. Excellent. And storage. Remove storage there. Okay, that's sorted. That, that's fine, I believe. Excellent. So, build. And what sort of things can we have? So, we'll pause it a sec. We need to check out... This is going to be, like, booze and stuff, Matt. So, we've got things like... You've got, like, a diner table and stuff, but we don't... And a restaurant table. We haven't got a restaurant, obviously, but you can have one. Food gets uh, snacks and things like that. What we'll do, then, we'll have probably snacks near the... You would have it near this part, wouldn't you? Like, snacks around... Around here. Um, same as up there as well. So you can have some snacks. Although. Cancel those. They have a different plan. Shelf. Like that. Okay now fridge. So because you can't rotate these. They're going to be a bit more annoying than it needs to be. So beer. Ice cream. Things like that. Right. Oh, if we, the reason. Ro not ro being able to rotate that is really annoying. It means that essentially you always want to build them in that orientation. Rather than this one. What's this here? Miss Sales Opportunities Restaurant. Oh yeah okay. So we'll have the fridges go along like this, all right, all the way down, all right, and then tables, no, 
shelves. We've got food shelf. Probably put in like so. Obviously the aisles would be slightly bigger, I guess realistically, because you'd need to be able to fit multiple people down them, as well as uh, shopping carts, but we don't have them. So, we're going to fill this up. We've only got a couple of people working here. You can see immediately once you build these new shelves and stuff, they say, oh, we've got a problem. So you need to set what they're going to sell. So this one is going to sell candies, and this one is going to sell snacks. All right. Uh, this one is going to sell uh, probably toilet paper. Because as you go in the toilet, you go, oh, yeah, I forgot toilet paper and stuff. And what else we got? Pads and tampons, diapers. Um, both would be useful, but I've only got two shelvings. So I'm going to have to remove, actually, this one. Uh, manage, no, build, remove, remove that. Max speed, back over to build, objects, shelf. And then that should be us. Back to selection. So that one. Uh, and there we go. Right, so products and fridge, we've got beer. So beer. And um, beer. And probably probably beer. Then maybe some beer. And what else have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six of the fridges. What else have we got? Food. Ice cream, uh, probably probably go for beer, and maybe beer, and perhaps some beer, and then, I don't think we'll do that, I think we'll sell soda, bottled water, and juices. So we've got a bit of everything. Okay, so in terms of the food shelf, we've got uh, wine, and... Actually, no, we'll change that one. That'll be that'll be liquor. Hard liquor. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, no. We'll change that to wine then. Because you'd have a bigger you would generally have, I would assume, a bigger wine selection than Spirits, which is we don't really call it liquor, it's spirits. And uh, wine, right? So, we've got other things that we haven't got, so we haven't got things like rice and pasta, stuff like that. So, actually, what we'll do, we'll go for a fridge. And not being able to rotate it is a bit annoying, it's very annoying, actually. So we'll sell, in this one, ice cream, frozen pizza, and because I really like pizza, frozen pizza. Okay, so we've got the store, and that's pretty much sorted. However, we do need to manage it, and we will click on Booze and Stuff Mart. We will go to staff, we will hire a stock clerk, so they'll be able to go back and forward and uh, move stock from here. And we'll do another one then, because I saw there was someone that's quite good at that. Uh, oh, even better over here. Then we need cashier, so cashier one, two, three, I guess I don't have much choice, four. There we are. Okay. So there's those people. Speed up to max speed, and then what will happen is they'll, as you can see, all the deliveries come, the deliveries drop them off into the uh, storage, and then eventually, once this opens, we should have people going in. So in terms of money, I'm going right down because I'm not making much profit at all, but I've, sp I've been, you know, you have to speculate speculate to accumulate. You have to spend money to make money, as they say. Uh, what's this down here? We've got, uh, yeah, the restaurant thing. We've got chemical supplier researching. That's fine. So uh, a couple of things I might not have mentioned. You've got things like your overall staff lineup. You can set the salaries. You can set the starting hours. I just leave it to its auto stuff. However, it might not be that good because, as you can see, cashier, these start at 8 and they finish at 6. But remember, this thing runs um, later on. So what we're going to have to do is change it so they finish at... 
Start at 10. I start at 12 and finish at 10. Hang on, is that right? Uh, so, yeah. That'll be about right. So, that's fine. We'll pause it. Hey, cashier. And same thing for them. They will start at 12 and higher again. Cashier. And you. And you're the same thing. So we've got a lot of staff in about the 12 o'clock mark. Right? But we don't have them. Um, but we, we only have a few in the morning and then a few at night. But it's because we're open so long. It would be nice if you could uh, sort... You can set the starting hour, but they're all... Yeah, as far as I can tell, they're all, like, eight-hour shifts. You know, they do the nine-to-five, that sort of thing. I guess it doesn't really count for breaks, because there's no break rooms or anything like that. But um, you can't have, like, say, part-time people who come in and just say, like, four hours in the morning, four hours at night, or work late, or whatever. You can't really do that, as far as I can tell. We've finished this uh, chemical supplier, and that's uh, cracking on there. So we're just going to speed up to max speed, because I just want to see how long it takes for this to actually do anything else. So there you go, look, people have turned up. But because there's nothing on the shelves, it's going to take a while for them to do that. So that you can see they're populating the shelf with beer and uh, wine and spirits and um, other alchemy holes and snacks. And look, there's some people getting served now. And they're starting to park on this side. Excellent. In terms of profit, it's going right down. But that's mainly because I've been buying loads of things. But you can hear just the sound of capitalism. Ah... Lovely. Ah, materialism. Oh, for some reason they really want to go to that checkout. I don't know. I assume it doesn't, like, simulate making customers more happy for things like hot air blows or blubber. When you look into the, the idea of, like, malls and shopping centres and things, and just in big stores, it's actually, it, I wouldn't say frightening, but the amount of research and stuff that goes into it and, like, researching what people buy and when and like what's trending and uh, all that sort of stuff and uh, there is a term for it, I just can't think of the, the name but all of that thing and what makes them happy like hot air blows above above the door and uh, greeters and things like that like it's it's mind-boggling like it's it's a huge huge thing um but anyway looks like we made some money there profit hopefully will go up we'll just speed up to max and then we'll you can see that that's finished there at night so not many people at night actually I didn't, I didn't see anyone use the restroom, but I, to be fair, I didn't really look. And uh, we've got some uh, queues full as well in the booze and stuff, Matt, so there you go. And as soon as it oh, has clicked over, money is going down. Oh, dear. We'll see what it's like next morning. I was in a, uh, I was in a, like, there's a local uh, store where I live. It's a fairly big one. And uh, I was uh, in one of the left queue, the left-hand queue. And there's, like, sort of four queues. I was in, imagine this, right? So I was in this one. And this one was also quite full as well. And these two were complete. They went, there was no cashiers on them. So I was waiting there, you know, being British, queuing up, going, yep, this is just fine. And about maybe two or three minutes passed. And yeah, yeah, just standing around waiting. And uh, then, a couple, then one person came in and a cashier and opened this queue. So this till here. So loads of people from this queue and loads of people from this queue went straight into the centre and then went, oh, maybe I should, maybe I should do that. And I thought, no, I'm not going to queue jump. This is, you know, mugs game. I'll just wait. So I slowly edge towards this one. I'm getting served, and uh, loads of people had gone to this one, even though it was going quicker. I was thinking I should have moved. Anyway, I'm glad I didn't because um, someone had a three litre bottle of Coca Cola and dropped it. It hit the floor. The top exploded off it. It just vented all of its contents and vomited it up into the ceiling. Hit the ceiling void. Sp sort of splashed a bit. And they've obviously got all the after form as well going all over. And I look, I put my head around like the corner. And I can just see this guy. Honestly, he, he, he was... <laughs> It wasn't cherry cola, but he was red like a cherry. Honestly, he was just he just he just said, "I'm so sorry, I'm sorry," because the people around were sort of looking at the clothing covered in coke, just like essentially going, "You what, mate? You what? Do you realise what just happened?" And he's there holding a couple of frozen pizzas or whatever, uh, with his coke all over the floor. And I'm just thinking, I'm glad I didn't go in that queue. There was bits of there was drops of coke dripping from the ceiling. It was all the way around and. Um, to my surprise, there wasn't someone saying, clean up a checkout four, please. There wasn't any of that. There was just like a sort of sigh and uh, some people laughing as well because, you know, we, we get over these things quite quickly. Um, 
I don't know how I got on with that. It's quite topical, though. Anyway, that's another brick in the mall. You can see I'm making money. I hope. Uh, profits are going down. I'm, I'm probably going to go bankrupt. But uh, I'm doing all right, I think. It's, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be something that will pick up later on, this uh, this store. A lot of people coming in for booze. All of the piss heads at, like, you know, 2 o'clock buying loads of spirits and then going home and drinking them and then crying themselves to sleep or passing out. Anyway, that is another brick in the mall. It is... it's not bad. It's, it's okay. It's still very in development. Obviously, there's a lot of things that are missing and uh, stuff that could... You know, there's a lot of things that they could do with it, but... Uh, you know, you don't want to go all armchair designer and stuff, but there's a lot of things that could add. Uh, hopefully, it'll add, uh, you know, like things like better, like wall stuff that you can, you can paint the walls or whatever. I know you can do on the floor. You can actually go to uh, floor tiles and say, like, there you go. We'll actually say fill. I like the fill as well. You can actually just say fill, bump, and it automatically does it. There you go. That's quite nice. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that can add. Uh, it would be nice, the main issue I have is the sounds, you know, it would be nice to have some more sounds, some more ambient sounds, things like that, and um, maybe some more options for the staff and things like that, but it is, it is what it is, it's, it's okay, it's alright, it's fairly cheap, I think it's about 10 quid, I think, so it's actually not that cheap, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not a bad game. Something I'm probably going to keep an eye on, I don't think I'm going to do any uh, much more with it, because, like I say, it's, uh, this is pretty much it. I mean, I know you can build some other buildings. I know you can go for pretty well. You can pretty much sell any or the other stuff here. But there's not mu the, the challenge is essentially to make money, you know, you, you, and, and keep the people happy. But uh, the way you do that is by just by selling the things that they want, you know, because of capitalism. But uh, we'll see. I'm going to keep an eye on it, and uh, maybe we'll jump back on it at some point and do a, a full game because I know this is the sort of thing that uh, uh, perhaps you might like. But we'll see how it goes. As always, though. Links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.